I would love to tell you that on the road to success, everything is going to work out. It's not. It's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be a dog fight. On the road to success, I lost five aunts to cancer. It's a dog fight. In the midst of my business, I lost aunts. I had to go to funerals. We had to get on a plane. We had to drive. We had aunts that are close to my age who died, who didn't have insurance. We had to raise money. A dog fight. There's not a person on my team in 16 years that has consistently beat me to the ball every play. That ain't got nothing to do with talent. That's just got everything to do with effort. Nothing else. 15 straight years. 12 Pro Bowls later. If you want numbers. I done saw all of them. My wife, three years ago, seven legions fought on the brain. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been easy. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been, the road hadn't been success. Like it's just a paved road and like each he go this way. It's been rough. It's been crooked. It's been hard. And the only thing that's kept me around is my effort. All I ever knew was effort will get me seen on tape. Effort will get me noticed to get to the league. Effort would one day take care of my mom and my kids. Effort. But I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. Which is between you and you. Nobody else can give you effort. And I'm still grinding because the next kid is talking about he getting too old. Keep watching me if I ain't. Nobody ain't got to convince me of what I do. I do what I do because I do what I do. Because I'm built from something. And so if you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're ready to quit, don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door, I just get excited. Why? Because I am not a no. I'm one yes away. That's why I run to the hotel. I don't need to talk to nobody before my game. I just need to see what I once came from. I'm just sharing my story to tell y'all. Every time you think somebody got it good, man, it ain't always good. Somebody just, some, some people just make up their mind and they just grind and say the heck with it, man. Because sometimes that's all you can do. How much of our brains are we really going to use? Somebody, somebody over here, help me out. You are in the Navy, right? You're going, they're teaching you war, right? What's the first thing they teach you? Boot camp, the very first, somebody jump over here. Just take a wild guess. What's the first thing they teach soldiers? Listen to me very closely. The first thing they teach you, the very first thing they teach you, is how to respond when you have a jam gun. And number two, how to carry your dead body. That's the first thing they teach you. They don't teach you how to defend yourself. And somebody tell me, why would they start you there? That's the worst case scenario. That's what you're not prepared for. That's what you're not thinking. You're not thinking when you go out there to defend yourself that your gun is going to jam. You're not, you're not thinking when you go out there that your boy going to get killed and you got to drag. You're not thinking that. There's no other man out there willing to give up what I'm willing to give up. I said that in 1993 when I said I wanted to be the greatest hurricane. And the only thing that I got in the middle of all of that distance is the only thing that follows work is results. There's no other blueprint. I ain't got no other secrets to tell y'all today. So listen to me. It's not, it's not hardships that hurt us. It's not my cousin getting shot twice. It's not my cousin spending 50 years in jail. It's not my aunt dying of cancer. It's not my wife being diagnosed with seven legions on her brain that will break you. What will break most people is you didn't prepare for that. I ain't come here for nothing else but to tell you if you want to do something, work at it. You want a better relationship with God? Work at it. 
You want to understand why pulling your pants up is important. Why yes ma'am and no ma'am is important. Why being in the meeting with complete silence when somebody walks in. Because it's presence and essence that determines respect. That's so all we talking about. The power of respect is never to disrespect. The question is what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? So when you put all your little goals and all your little dreams together, it's not the thing that broke you that broke you. It was you never even thought about the fact that you could be broken. You never, you never prepared. You never, you never prepared for worst case scenario. And the reason why ET is standing here, because I prepared for it. If you know anything about me, I still lay on floors. I still eat chips off the floor. I still do some stuff that to most people is crazy, like E.T., why would you do that? Because I'm always prepared that we may not live in that house one day. One day something might happen and we might have to go back to that. And if I have to go back to that, it's not going to break me. And so I present to you a diamond. Most women love them. And most men spend a lot of money on them. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? For a diamond to be produced, it has to go through extreme pressure extreme heat and if that wasn't enough what makes a diamond a diamond is the cut so I put you are put through if you want to be a diamond you must go through extreme pressure if you can't take pressure then you're not a diamond after you go through all the pressure you thought you could not handle and you think it's over then they turn on the heat of all the stuff I've gone through in my life eating out of trash cans Sleeping in abandoned buildings. The worst thing that ever happened is when I went to the hospital and they told me my wife had a chronic illness and she might not be able to walk one day. People say, E.T., ask C.J., it never broke me. Why? Because I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like and I can handle it. It did happen to me at 19. It did happen to me at 20. It did happen to me at 30. It happened to me at 40. After I had been through all the, all the pressure I thought I could go through. Life said, you finished with all the pressure? I said, yeah. I said, let me bring on the heat. And then when I went through the pressure and the heat, y'all, I thought it was over. The creator said, now you ready to get cut? You say you wanted to be great, son. You say you wanted to travel the world. You say you wanted to help people, inspire people. Yeah, you gotta be a diamond. Listen to me very closely if you've ever studied the diamond. Once it goes through that type of pressure and it finally becomes a diamond, at that point you can't break it no more. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. And the only way they can tell if a diamond is a diamond or if it's fake is by a pr applying pressure is how they tell. Most people don't reach their dream, not because of failure. Most people don't live their dream because they give up. You see, it's not the failure that stops us, but that most stop at their first failure. Those who succeed don't stop at one failure. They don't stop at 10 failures. They don't stop at 100, 1,000, or a million. They say, this is my goal, and I will do whatever it takes to achieve it. I will learn the lessons from any failures. I will learn faster. I will work harder. I will work smarter. And I will not quit until my dream is a reality. That's the difference between success and failure. Failure makes winners hungry. But it makes most give up. It makes most feel worthless. Winners don't enjoy failure, but they would never let failure stop them. Next time you encounter failure, you got to remember every great thing on this planet is here because the Creator learned what did work, but learned more from what did not work. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. 
Somebody said, I got to go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't going to die. At the end of pain is success. There's two sides of pain that I don't think a lot of people really understand. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. And if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt that you back. First time you felt, ah, that burn. First time you felt that, ah, it, it's too much. And we rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. That's why kids have a problem finishing things in today's time. Because as soon as they feel a small bit of discomfort, if things ain't right, oh, they gone. I can't do it anymore. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. You're not going to die because you're feeling a little pain. We have gotten to a point where it's midterms and we're moving forward. The days of you getting money, I'm not saying we quitting, but I'm saying the day has got to go from external to internal. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more playing. If you don't have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is studying. Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up, stop sleeping on the streets. Stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got none and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. Stop being afraid and be the best Eric Thomas you can be. But listen to me, it's going to be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree, but I got it. And guess what? On a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere.